Hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hello and welcome. As you can tell, this isn't my usual filming background, but as you can tell by the title of this video, I am filming a homeware haul. Now let me tell you, this is probably gonna be the biggest haul I've ever done. I've considered splitting it up into two videos, but we'll see as we get on. Basically, if you don't know, I am currently in the process of moving, well, not moving house yet. In a couple of weeks, I'll be moving house. Therefore, I have been buying brand new everything because we're moving into a new build and it's gonna be sort of my dream home in a way. So therefore, you know, we've been updating everything. We went sofa shopping, in. So because of that, I have a lot of homeware stuff to show you and it's a bit mad actually. I think I've gone a bit too mad and I'm still going to continue doing more over the coming months, maybe weeks. There is a lot of stuff that I'm not going to include in this. So there's a few stuff that Cameron's been buying for his man room, game room. There's stuff that is going to be turning up in a few days for that as well. So I'm not going to include that because I'm not interested in that. So I don't want to show you. I'm not going to make this intro long because it's going to be a long video anyways. So I hope you enjoy. If you do, please smash the huge thumbs up button. Subscribe down below if you're not already and let's get straight into the video. First of all, I'm going to start off with yesterday or the day before. Me and Cameron, obviously, as I said, we went sofa shopping, we went to SES, we went to a place called Gisk. So Cameron works for a furniture company, so because of that, we actually find loads of really good deals and really good homeware stores. So it's a company called Gisk, I think it's JSK, I think. And then we also went into Asda. I didn't pick anything up from Gisk, I took loads of pictures so I could check it out on the website and order it on the website for delivery in a couple of weeks because we don't want loads of big furniture getting delivered to this house because then we're gonna then have to put it to the other house so we're literally gonna be buying all the big stuff and getting it delivered to the new house in a couple of weeks so that's what that was and same with SES. We went into Asda yeah we didn't buy a bag because we didn't realize we were gonna buy quite a lot of stuff so I've had to use a bag that we've had at home and it's from B&M. In here it's just basically towels so I kind of went a bit mad. My idea for the downstairs toilet is gonna be pink and light grey so because of that I decided to buy a baby pink hand towel for the downstairs there's bathroom. I just thought this really cute. It's really nice pink. I'm also going to be buying a photo to go in there, which is also going to be have a bit of pink in it. So I wanted to like colour theme. I'm not sure how much this was actually. I will try find the prices and screen for you guys. It's a reasonable size, you know, hand towel. It's just pretty straightforward. I only picked up this one for now because, like I said, we're not moving for a couple of weeks. I don't really want to start bombarding my whole living room like I have right now because now we've got we've got two bathrooms and one downstairs toilet. So we thought we'd go. With this one. The one that we've actually got in this bathroom already in this house is exactly the same as this but a blue colour. It's like not a dark blue, it's not a bright blue, it's just a standard blue colour. You know what? We love it so much. It's got like little bubbles on it throughout and then obviously underneath it grips. And this is in a really nice grey colour. I wish Asda would put the prices on the actual things but they don't. I think it's super cute. It's gonna go in the ensuite or the main bathroom, I'm not sure. It's so soft though, like really soft and that's what I want when you get out and it's really nice and soft. When it gets a bit wet, it's a bit Then, I bought four towels. I bought me and Cameron the exact same colour because I think at the minute Cameron's got a One Direction one, which was his sister's when they lived at home. He's also got a Liverpool one. And then he also bought a massive, massive one, massive towel in a brownish colour a few years ago. He just bought the one. And then I have two bright pink towels and then one dark blue towel. So it's just mismatch. So I thought, you know what? New house, we're going to get brand new towels. Bought four of these bath towels in this really nice grey, which as you can see sort of like it is different colored gray like that looks more green person it looks quite a greeny blue on camera but it's actually gray this is the gray that we've gone for the towels the gray that's going to go in the downstairs toilet is going to be a lighter gray to this but this is just for bathroom i have got four of them in the bag but i'm not going to take all four out then the last few things that we picked up from asda was some teaspoons so we just go for like really cheap teaspoons because we literally teaspoons there's just no point getting really nice teaspoons because we just literally use them for tea and coffee like yeah we We've already got about 20 in our drawer, but for some reason we go about go through about five a day. It's ridiculous. So I thought I'd just pick up some more. They are 40p from Asda. I do remember that because I was like, 40p bargain and you get already a pack. So 10p a spoon. Cheap and cheerful. And then we've decided to pick up another pack of the exact same ones that we currently have. So we will have eight of each, which is a lot better for us. So this is what they are, and they've got a really cute like design underneath there. So they are pretty just like straightforward, but do have a little bit of a design. I don't I don't want to go too fancy 
here because it's just cutlery. You don't need to go too fancy. And I quite like the silver. Then I went into B&M a couple of weeks ago now. Maybe about four weeks ago, about a month ago. And I actually picked up a clothing line. So because no one's lived there before, they don't have a washing line. So I bought one for us to put up and use. Not really sure how much that was, but it's just an extra strong clothes line, 20 metres. Basically, this is what Cameron's got for his room. But I also thought I'd show it because some people might be interested. So this is just a black shelf. So it's just a standard shelf, just black. It's like a really long look. Really long. Really long shelf. I don't actually know how. It's 118 centimetres long. I'm not sure where you got this from actually. He's got two of these. I really don't know where they're from. But yeah, as you can imagine, in a games room, you just want something black and dark because it's a games room. I don't know how much it was. Again, I'm really bad at this. Sorry. It's because I've had everything literally in my house for weeks building up. Then we've also got this shelf. So it's like just a metal shelf with like loads of holes in like I think this yeah I'm not really sure what this is getting used for this again this is another one of Cameron's buys um yeah I'm not quite sure what actually oh I think oh no I think this wasn't actually a buy because Cameron works for a furniture company they buy loads of furniture for people and then it don't end up getting used so they have a lot of like furniture stock in their warehouse that they have if anybody wants it they can take it so Cameron saw this and just thought you know what I'm just going to take it it looks good so for us that was free of trash then I've literally bought loads of stuff that I haven't opened so I've bought loads of curtains blinds everything and I haven't opened them yet this is what this video is going to be as well I need to open them and double check that they're actually right what I've ordered these are box wood blinds and I believe this was from Argos so this is for the kitchen this is impossible how is anybody supposed to get these out of the box this is the colour of the blinds that I've gone for in the kitchen if you can see that obviously the lighting is going to be a bit different because the ring light is really let me turn it down a bit can you see that so we've gone for a grey colour because as you know we're going for a grey theme as you saw there i struggled to get it out of the packaging watching i'm not going to be able to show you i will put a picture on screen here to show you the blinds of what they look like and i also also put the price on screen again because i don't know it off by heart and i tap my phone on me right now oh, i'm stressing it <laughs> because we're sticking with the grey theme We've also got these grey blinds for both rooms, the master bedroom and the spare bedroom. We've gone for a grey colour. We did actually have these in the house that we're in now, so we know these are good. They're like literally like eight to ten pounds from Argos. Like I were up for paying tons of money from Argos. But these are just fabric blinds. Yeah, so we've got two of these. Not really to say about them. I'll also put a picture on screen here so you can see them a bit better. Then Cameron's also gone for a black one for his room because he's keeping it a black theme. Going on to a bit more exciting stuff now i think you can see them on quite a few like influencers in their houses and stuff anyways i saw these books ages ago i actually saw them ages ago and then i saw that saffron gone for her birthday so i've wanted these for the longest time ever so i've got the chanel catwalk so the complete Karl lagerfeld collection so i've got the chanel one then i've also got the ysl catwalk book uh, which is obviously really thick. I've got the two of these. I actually got them both for £30 each, but I think one of them, maybe the YSL one, was actually supposed to be £50, but then I got it in a sale, so it was actually £30. So you've got it's a bit of hit and miss, like, where you get them from. So I actually got them on Amazon, and they were actually, one of them was actually up for sale for, for £50, so I put it in my watch later. And I kept looking at it like, oh, do I justify paying £50 for a book that I'm essentially not going to read? It's just going to sit on the coffee table, just for sure. Do I really want to spend £50 on that? And then and one day I looked and it had gone from £50 to £30 so I thought you know what I'm going to get them both £30 for each so £60 in total they are the heaviest books ever like you don't expect them to be this heavy at all I did also look at the Dior one which was grey which I might get in the future so for right now I'm just keeping with these two then I actually watched Emily Philpot or Phil Phil I'm not really sure how you pronounce the last name. I'm really sorry. I've been watching her moving vlogs, homeware hauls, everything because like she's gold. And I saw that she'd purchased some. It's just literally coming these. These have come from Amazon again. So yeah, so she purchased purchased these mugs from Amazon and they were cute. Since I've since I've seen Emily it's on her thing, I've literally seen everybody with these mugs. I even think Chloe Sumner's got these mugs literally everyone Karen's not a fan and I showed my brother them the other day and he weren't a fan either but this is what they are so it's glass 
so oh, it's really hard to show you actually so it's just like two two glasses so like a glass in a glass at the bottom you see that yeah they're actually quite huge as well and they're just great for cups of tea cups of coffee got chocolate in the winter you can see through them and i just love them so i got a pack of four two in one side two in the other so they were 26.99 from amazon then i decided to pick up some artwork from decenio so it actually came in this tube because i didn't buy any frames so i need to purchase some frames but so i think i got four but i've got my eye on loads more from there i think my whole house is going to be covered in prints from decenio i just absolutely love them only the problem about them being in here is they're quite rolled up now. I've had them for a couple of weeks. So the first one, this is going to go in our bedroom just on a random wall. I haven't decided what wall yet. But this says, uh, let's get naked. And it's just pretty standard. It's just white with, I'm literally creasing it, white with the black writing. I really like the writing and I just thought it was quite fitting for a bedroom. Like... <laughs> what do you do when you go into the bedroom then the next one is going to be for the kitchen so if you don't know i am italian i'm like an italian through and through like i've grown up basically being italian so i decided to go for a print that was pretty italian themed it says pizza gelato espresso i'm not really sure what that is cornetto and tiramisu and then at the bottom there it says my favorite things about rome which they are that's just really cute for the kitchen i just loved it as soon as i saw it i was like i need that then the next one is going to be for the hallway as soon as you walk into the house it's a bit cheesy and it's one of those that you're like oh you're one of those types of people but i don't know i needed something for the hallway and i wasn't sure what i wanted and i just saw this and thought you know what kind of goes kind of fits so again i've gone for the white and the black and it just says home sweet home to make me feel a bit homely not really much to say about that again i don't know how much the prices are so i leave prices on the screen then the last one i got is the most predictable one i actually wish i got it in a bigger size but I didn't know how the sizing was on the website. Like, I could get a ruler from black. Oh, yeah, it looks all right, but still doesn't compare to when you actually see it in person. I've got it this. I think this is a 30 by 40. So, of course, I went with a Namaste in bed for above the bed. Not really much to say about that, apart from very predictable. Everybody pretty much has this, but I love them. I just think it's great personally i literally love decenio like the prints that they have on their website are like fabulous i literally love pretty much every single one then i'm going to move on to a few things that we did get free from cameron's work cameron did send me pictures of these and said do you want them i thought why not let's just get them so i think cameron cameron's company works with ikea as a supplier i'm assume because it's got ikea on the bottom if you can read that so basically we've got these two plants i love fake plants because i then don't have to water them i'm not going to kill them and they just look great some of them actually look really real this one behind me is fake but it looks really real love it oh no so we've got three of them we've got one two i'm not really sure where we're going to put these yet these might be great for cameron's room to spice up the color a little bit because he does want to buy some fake plants so yes yeah, so these are from ikea again i really don't know how much these are because we got these for free so I might find on the website and pop on the screen for you. These are super cute and go well with some shelves. I am going to be doing an Ikea trip in a couple of weeks as well because there's a few things I want to get from Ikea. That'll be a separate video. Then we also got this plant holder which I believe goes on the wall like that and then you sit a plant in it and it drips over. It is this like rose gold copper colour and then like a black lamp pot. Um, it is quite dusty because we've literally just had it sat around for a while. I just thought this was super cute. I've never really had anything like this in my house before but I love it it just creates more i don't really know instead of just like having a plant on a shelf it just brings the room more light or more homely it's really hard to explain so yeah again we got this for free so i'm sorry but i don't know how much this was and then this as well this was also free there's nothing wrong with the freebie this is a stand <laughs> this is a plant stand so there's a few bits that go together and you put it in and then you put your plant on it and it's i don't really know how it makes up or how it goes because i haven't properly like opened it so i don't know what it looks like when it's made up but i just love the wood and yeah i've been looking one for this one because it's currently just sat on the floor in a plant pot and it's made like a little circle on the carpet so i have been looking at one for a while and this is super cute i would get it all out but it's really cutely packaged so i think i'm just gonna leave it in again i'm really sorry but i don't know where this is from or how much it was i'm literally like the worst person at doing a homeware haul ever i'm really sorry then the next thing i also 
I got for free. It was kindly gifted to me from Penny and let's just say I'm in love with it. So me and Cameron actually bought a knife set probably June, mid-June because we were putting our house on the market and our one, I just worked too keen on. We'd literally had it for five years. The knives were just blunt and so we were like, you know what? We need to buy a new set. We need to buy it now because we were struggling to cut things up because it was just that blunt and we didn't have a knife sharpener. So we did actually buy a set in June and then a couple of weeks ago a company did reach out to me and asked if I wanted to purchase it for free. Kindly gifted and this is not sponsored or anything like that. They haven't asked me to say this in this video but I just thought I will show it in this video anyway because it's home my haul. Decided not to not to open it and use it just yet. We're going to use it for the new house and then we are going to give our old set to family because they're literally a couple of weeks old. This is a knife set so it's Tony Sharp. I believe it's supposed to be £50 off Amazon. I will link it below. I'm not going to get it out because it is all neatly packaged up but it, again it's stainless silver with like a black thing so I think the theme for the kitchen is going to be black or like a dark silver colour. So you literally get in the front there you get six steak knives. Then you get a pair of scissors you get oh it literally shows you at the side there. You get obviously the eight inch chef knife, the eight inch carving knife, the five inch bread knife, five inch sand hockey knife, five inch utility knife, 3.5 inch paring knife, a 3.5 inch powering knife really don't have a clue what they are 4.5 inch steak knife we get six of them an eight inch sharpener eight inch shears and then the block all inside here plus 50 quid if you would like to buy it yeah i think this is really cute i have opened it up and had a look at all all of it to make sure it is all okay and let me just say it's gorgeous like such a stunning stunning set i love it like i'm so grateful to get gifted stuff like this the next bits are just little stuff that i can't really show you well i can get out and show you but can't at the same time so so I have bought two curtain rails because at the minute we've only bought two curtains. So we've got two curtain rails and then two different sets of curtains for the two bedrooms. This hasn't been opened because I haven't had the time and I've just sort of put it off. So I actually bought these from Amazon. This is what they are. They are really nice. So I've just gone for the stainless steel. I've also gone for a bit of extra, a crystal ball at the ends. <laughs> Literally looks like a crystal ball. It is so cute, although that one is slightly damaged. Never mind. Then obviously it got the silver rings, which I'm not going to use the rings because I've got eyelet curtains. So like I said, I've got two of them because Cameron doesn't want curtains in his bedroom. He just wants blinds. The kitchen, we've just got blinds. The bathrooms obviously don't need them. And then we haven't actually picked any curtains for the front room yet. We've just literally got blinds. Blinds for the front room have taken three weeks for delivery and they've been delivered to Cameron's work, but Cameron's had a few days off. So we have, I haven't got them to show you, but I will put a picture on screen here. Yeah, they're custom made because our front room windows are massive. They're like double the size of what they should like a normal standard window and hence the reason why we haven't got any curtains because we're struggling because we have to get them custom made which then means that they are really expensive. So there's the two for the main, main bedroom and spare bedroom. I just love them. I thought they were great. They are extendable curtain poles crystal and they were £25 each. Then lastly two sets of curtains. I think we've got different. I think they're the same but just different colour. I got these from Argos but Sainsbury's Argos. So Argos that's inside Sainsbury's. That's why it says Sainsbury's all over it. <laughs> but I actually came from Argos. This is what I have got. So we've decided to go for crushed velvet eyelet, which I've wanted crushed velvet curtains for the longest time, but Cameron's always been like, I don't want crushed velvet. I don't want crushed velvet. Then we saw them on the website because we were sat together looking at them and Cameron were like, okay, I kind of actually like the crushed velvet look. So we've decided to go for crushed velvet. So I think we've just gone for two different colours. We've gone for this like light grey colour. Like I said, obviously we've gone for eyelet curtains because I just prefer them. They're just so much easier. So let me open the other packet and see what we've got in that one. Grey colour as it says there. Then this one was the charcoal colour, which is what it says there. Exactly the same, but just a charcoal colour because I didn't want to literally every room to be identical. So, you know, just throwing it in there with light and darker greys. And then obviously we're just going to spice it up with a bit of pink here and there or a bit of greenery here and there. So yeah, so I think we're going, our sofa's going to be a charcoal colour, so pretty similar to that. And that's just basically everything. I've got packing boxes behind me. I've now got to pack up all this stuff that I've shown you guys. I've been putting it off because I'm like, I need them out. I need to film homeware haul. If you made it to this, made it to the end of the video, comment a, comment a squid, a squid in the house emoji. Bit random, but yeah, I want to see who actually made it to the end of the video. So if you did, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to smash it huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.